have. Let's see. Bitch is King Kong. Oh, my creativity <laughs> is very low. Okay. Auditorium is creativity, right? Yeah. Yeah. I guess I'll go over there then. Alright. Oh, so look at that. Oh, look at that good boy. <laughs> that day while rehearsing for the class play, it's as though the muses themselves have descended to give you a figurative blowjob. <laughs> Ooh! Your performance is intense and inspiring. It will be remembered for generations, which is pretty rad by high school play standards. Nice. Plus two creativity. Okay, so I am out of the dark. Alright. You hang out afterwards to impress Liam with your sweet Instagram filters. You're really making some headway when... Oh, I know this. Never oh, no, fear, no. boy team! I am here to rescue you from the drudgery of high school. Okay. Yeah, this guy. This guy. This guy. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna be all the boys. <laughs> sure. Okay. <sighs> Wait, I have a fun voice for Damien, please. What? I have a fun voice for Damien, okay, I can do Okay, okay, I mean, it's not, it's not him right now, but okay, we'll get to him. I know. Right. <sighs> I guess your heart's in the right place, but I'm afraid there's no experienced novel enough to conquer my limitless ennui. Whatever. Can't you make him sound more like a vampire? Please don't. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather not annoy myself. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Not even marrying an interdimensional prince? Hmm. No, not even that. What about marrying an interdimensional prince, ironically? Mood? It's disru <gasps> so disruptive. It may be the most disruptive thing ever. He's no! Just trying to get it seems the prince has been with Liam with his idiotic proposal. All is lost. And to, unless you can think of something even more disruptive to marry. <laughs> a unicorn with a toilet on his head or the concept of marriage itself? <laughs> the concept of marriage. <laughs> yeah. No. I mean, thinking him. Yeah. But, but you, can't mar you can't marry marriage. Maybe you can but that's only because you don't, you do not possess the soul of a poet. Oh my so, god, that's smart though. Don't you see the brilliance of this scheme? Um, no. Marriage is monogamous. If I marry marriage, then no one else can marry. It's the most disruptive marriage of all. Done. Okay. Done, done. So long, posers. I'm off the deep flower of a precious social construct. What <laughs> the heck? <laughs> No. Well, this will surely put a stop to the prince's and practice of proposing marriage to random high schoolers. As soon as Liam figures out how exactly to marry an abstract concept. Meanwhile, you've gained plus two creativity and plus one smarts. Ooh, nice. All right, Vicky, you're up. My boldness is really low, so might as well go there. Right. To the bathrooms. Oh, bathrooms. <laughs> Bathroom? So, okay. <laughs> that day you oh, skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn by skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms. You give zero craps, but you gain plus two boldness. Zero shits. Yes, thank you. <laughs> of course, no trip to the bathroom would be complete without running into a group of your classmates doing something stupid. Uh, Damien, you're the worst! Alright, here, here, here we go. Mike. I know, right? Oh, God, here we go. Okay, let's. No, I'm not done doing this! Do you mean that in a bad way? Do you really have to set fire to our entire deck of cards? I don't know. Did the deck of cards have to keep doing shitting hands? <laughs> Not necessarily. That's not how probability works. Well then, I guess I didn't necessarily need to set it on fire. Oh, when? <laughs> but since when has it stopped me? <laughs> well, <laughs> you stopped us all from playing poker. Now, what are we going to bet on? <sighs> Mama needs a new pair of shoes. Of course. <laughs> 
Yes, and I derive an almost sexual pleasure from taking your money. So what's the new game? Oh, oh, you know the perfect poker alternative. So Russian roulette or the stock market? Russian roulette. Russian, Russian roulette. roulette. <laughs> okay. Or the bar, I'm guessing. Oh, uh, yeah. Why didn't you, I think of that? that? That used to be my favorite game before I died. Uh, How did she die? Um, that's <laughs> not known, but I think we got a hint. Wait. All in. Polly pulls an antique revolver out of nowhere, spins the cylinder, points it at her head, and pulls the trigger five times until it fires. What the heck is wrong with this girl? What? I love I mean, her. This I mean, is my thing. I mean, I know when she's dead, dead, but seriously. I love her. When you're dead and you give no shit. The bullet goes through her intangible head, bounces off the ceiling, and embeds itself in the mirror right next to all the other bullet holes. What? Oh boy. Wait, what? <laughs> there are multiple how? <laughs> Wait, does that mean- Oh, me too? <laughs> oh, me too? I guess very nice with the money. Dang. I always lose that Russian roulette. Let's play again. I'll go first. I wonder why. <laughs> I don't think that's even how you're supposed to play it. Okay, then. How? How you ever died is a mystery to me. Same. Mood. Hey! Yeah, me too! So she, okay, she doesn't even know. Okay, that, that clears things up. You decide to get out of the bathroom to avoid any further ricochet. <laughs> Good idea. From the gunshots echoing behind you. It seems your friends are all delighted with your suggestion. You gain plus two fun and plus one smarts. Right. Nice. Let's trade places. Alright. Oh! oh. Alright, everybody yeah. choose a movie. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Uh, you know B I'm movie. <laughs> uh, not a genre, a movie. No, it's a, a B movie. movie. Oh, a B. Okay, literally the, the, the Jerry Seinfeld one. Barry Barton. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna. Go. Actually, no. Let's play with Infinity War. Infinity War. Oh. Good. Okay, so B movie, Infinity War. I guess we're doing Winter Soldier then. Okay, because... Winter Soldier and. I'm gonna do Star Wars. Okay. Ooh. Wait, so, wait. So, B movie. Are we going with Infinity War or Winter Soldier? No, no, no. Uh, Bomb is doing Infinity War. I'm doing Winter Soldier. Okay, so. B movie, Infinity War. Winter oh, no, no, B movie. No B movie. No oh, you changed it. Okay. okay yeah, so Infinity yeah. War, Winter Soldier. What was the third one? Uh, Star Wars. Okay, Star Wars, and I'm gonna go- I'm going with my favorite, Jungle Book. Oh, that's a pretty good one. Hmm. Play or decide based on how idiotic it would be to do a 10-hour remake of the selected movie. Start debating now. Star Wars- Star Wars, the entire yeah. series put together Two. is like already 10 hours long, so I'm going last. Uh, Dude, no. you know, that- I should have done the B movie though. <laughs> yeah, no. Damn! Can I, can I do the B movie? Nope, nope, we're locked in. You're going. <laughs> You're obviously going first. Okay, because... so. Uh, decide based on how idiotic it was. Well, I mean, they technically already remade the Jungle Book. Yeah, but like a 10 hour rendition just a kind of. 10 hour over rendition. That, would that be the entire book? It'd be that, but like extended. So, yeah. Oh, no, because be there, kind of there is more to the book. Yeah, but... Mm, mm. Oh, no. Uh, Star Wars... I feel like I, I would definitely watch a 10-hour Winter Soldier Ooh. or Infinity War. Ooh, here's an idea. Here's an idea. Uh, okay, so here's how it would be, how we would do the Star Wars one. Shakespearean. <laughs> yes! Okay. That would hurt me physically. Yeah, it would be idiotic to do the whole thing Shakespearean style. Yeah. Okay, so we're agreed that one that one would be. Uh, Alright, so Vicky is going first. Okay, Vicky first. And let's see. So. Infinity War. Okay, a 10 hour version of Infinity War would be the best because, like, you would actually get to the end of it. <laughs> I. Yeah, but would that. Be... No, whatever. Anyway, whatever. So, Jungle Book. Yeah, I mean. 
it's not that idiotic. I mean, people have probably done it. Mmm, I think a 10 hour version of Jungle would. I I'd rather watch a 10 hour version of Infinity War than Jungle. Yeah, so it probably would be more idiotic. Mm. Uh, what about, wait, what about Winter Soldier, though? Winter Soldier is the best movie since, and all of you can fight me. Winter Soldier, but except it's the B-movie script. <laughs> okay, now you're just, okay, now you're just trying to... <laughs> No, 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 it's the B-movie, but it's the B-movie script. Yeah, Jungle Book, but it's the, but it's the B-movie script. <laughs> that was, no, that's my idea. Yeah, but we could, like, you could literally do that with all of them. Well, Wait, I have a suggestion. What? B movie, but with the Infinity War script. <laughs> How much weirder would it be? I would, though. Yeah, but, I would watch okay, it. So, I would watch okay, it. so okay, so the okay, we're gonna do Jung Jungle Book because that is a little more stupider. And I'd say I'd rather watch Infinity War ten hour edition than Winter Soldier, to okay. be honest. Okay, so Winter Soldier with who? Uh, Oz. Okay. And we're She's done. On. And yeah. now for lunchtime. Oh, yes. Here is where- This is where we can- we de de Based on where we go, we can increase relations with other people. Oh my god, wait. Wait, where's Scott? Because uh, I know someone's already going for Vera, I'm gonna go with Tiger Boy. You're gonna go with the coach. I'm oh, gonna go with yes. the coach, yeah. Uh, I mean, he's- not an option for dating, but okay. I know! <laughs> but I'm letting someone else take Vera. Okay, you're desperately trying to enjoy your meal in peace, but Coach insists on striking up a conversation. Hey there, bud! What you drinking? What? Milk? That's it? That's hardly a drink at all! Everybody knows to drink is the back row bone of a balanced lunch. And what no, it is we, not, Coach. What will we be without backbones? I don't know. My doctor yells at me whenever I try to find out. Guys, his eyeliner is on fleek. I mean, he is, <laughs> Honestly, a, I mean, he is a tiger. True. <laughs> but enough about me. Let's get you juice. You, you can have sports sauce or muscle juice. Which will it be? Uh, Whiskey. <laughs> okay. Is there an option for all of the above? Uh, <laughs> no. Both would, would call... I'm gonna take both, yeah. Okay. Both? Both? What a bold choice! Especially considering that nice. these two liquids combined create another a highly explosive liquid. Oh jeez. But you know what they say, you can't make an omelet without asking a few, drinking a few explosives, what? Oh, me too. <laughs> it's me impossible. Too. Bottoms up. You grab the two bottles from the coach and squirt them into your mouth. Cowabunga. Luckily, your stomach is rated as a class 5 atomic bomb shelter, so you avoid any negative consequences. <laughs> wow, I mean, me you... too. <laughs> When your classmates see that you are literally willing to drink a bomb for no reason, though, they cer ceremonially award you plus four boldness. Nice. Hey. Alright. Vera! <laughs> you find Damien Vera contemplating a huge slab of un unidentified prime meat. Alright, Damien. I know we had our share of dis during this convoluted poaching expedition. Like when they told me not to bring all of my knives. <laughs> I hate the baby voice around right, God. But <laughs> I trust we can now put our differences behind us and enjoy the fruits of our labors. You mean the meats of our labors? Yes. Together, we will enjoy this raw, bloody cutoff meat as a symbol of our... Wait, raw and bloody? You mean you're not even going to try using fire on it? Of course I used fire! I specifically instructed the chef to prepare this meat. Instruct- instruct- Okay, look, I can't read! Um, okay. I, I specifically instructed the chef to prepare this meat while glancing briefly at a lit stove. Did the fire ever, you know, touch the meat? What would be the point of that? A cut of this fine can only be eaten ultra rare. Like hell it can. You can you wait here while I get my culinary flamethrower. <laughs> nice. Damien, please, let's be reasonable about this. 
What is reasonable? <laughs> if we can't come to an agreement, let's appeal to an arbitrary third party. Cian will surely make the intelligent choice for us. Isn't that right? My word, the steak is too cooked already. Rub some eyes on it and douse it, douse it in blood, quick! The only correct That's way to enjoy terrible. steak is after its charred remains have been retrieved from a burning building. I yeah, the first for one. Vera, yeah, the first one. Quite right, quite right. Someone turn off the heat. Get a frost wizard in here. Fetch me more blood from the blood bank. Dear God. What the fuck? I'm not gonna eat a big chunk of raw meat. How am I supposed to ensure maximum suffering without fire? <laughs> oh darn. I guess I'm going to have to enjoy this whole juicy steak by myself. Whatever. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go burn down a burger joint and eat whatever survives the fire. <laughs> oh, so he's gonna burn down a Burger King. Oh, well, oh wow, mood? Mood? Good for you, Domanian. Live your best life. Domanian? Domanian. 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 We're calling him Domanian. 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 Cash under the table. Unfortunately, she pays you in Vera Bucks. Well, oh, fortunately, your stack of Vera Bucks is redeemable for four and a half minutes of intimate eye contact. You say. <laughs> Alright. Alright, let's go, boys. I'm gonna go sit with Liam and Scott because right. my pals. Wait, Bomb, you're going for Polly, right? Yeah. Okay, just making sure. Don't worry. You take your seat between the strongest and smartest men you know. Liam appears to be taking a very intense picture of some bizarre looking food. Scott is looking about as confused as you are currently. But Liam, food is delicious! It's for eating! That's why they call it lunchtime? Neither of those statements is wrong, but they also could, aren't quite connected. Scott, if I had the capacity to eat, I assure you. I would still ignore the actual content of the food in favor of finding the perfect combination for a flawless Instagram post. Oh, I see. You're going to post a picture to advertise the food to people who can actually eat it. You're so smart. I'll be happy to eat your, fo your food for you. I'm afraid your palate is way too unsophisticated to appreciate these rare Japanese delicacies. Okay, now I'm curious. <laughs> Liam is a weeaboo confirmed. Ooh, they're Japanese? Do you have any Scott snacks? <laughs> Scott snack? You know what? Fine. I've taken all pictures. I can eat whatever you want. Thanks, Liam. Ooh, they all look so yummy. I don't know where to start. Oz, any ideas? Maybe your choice to snack can get one of these boys who want a snack to snack on you. In an innuendo. Ooh. Not literally. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh! Uh, Alright, let's all right. see. Obviously the lychee fruit flavored custard with a side of tofu and a drizzle of raspberry extract is the most superior food on the plate. Go for the okay. brightly colored bag of meat biscuits that somehow has an anime drawing of Scott's face on it that says Scott Snacks. Wait, what? Alright, I don't... Which one do I want to go with? Uh, if you're going if you Liam, go for Liam, it's obviously this one. Scott is the, obviously Scott. Yeah, I know, but like my, my problem is I don't know who to go with. What? Do I go with the nerd or the jock? Uh, which one were you going for before? Or? I mean, you got the bonus for Liam, so... Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna go with Scott's, then. Okay, Scott's next. Yes! You do have Scott snacks! Scott snacks? What does that even mean? How is this possible? <laughs> Why is your face on an obscure <laughs> Japanese biscuit brand? Is that really you? <laughs> oh yeah, totally! There was this one time where I was... Well, actually it was a full moon, so I'm not really sure what exact, exactly what happened. <laughs> oh no! You went to the for a werewolf! Oh my god. god. But somehow, I ended up hanging out with these really cool Japanese businessmen the whole evening. B -b 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 how What even?! Yeah, I guess they saw me practicing a few sports moves and they saw how strong and fast I was and they wanted to show their meat treats are strong and fast. So they asked if they could use me as their new mascot and I said of course. 
and then the Scott Snacks became a hit, and now I'm kind of famous in Japan. Thanks for pointing out the Scott Snacks to me, Oz. It's nice to know you want to see my face. I want to see yours, too. Oh, it's <laughs> oh. oh. How is he so muscular and so adorable at the same time? Maybe one day Important you can question. Maybe one day you can put your faces together. Uh, me. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, a euphemism for kissing. Okay. <laughs> uh... I'm definitely going to sit with Polly, so... Alright. Alright, I'm trying to comprehend your request. What is there to comprehend? It's really simple, Miranda. Take my cell phone, snap a pic of my face, of me face fighting and my food with my eyes closed and tongue out. But where for? Right here, Miranda. You're about to point out that wherefore means why, but luckily Polly elaborates on her own, so you don't have to look like a freaking it know it all. Fucking know it all. <laughs> it's a new meme, Miranda. Like a planking or dabbing. It's called food poisoning. <laughs> wow. And it's dope as fuck. Don't you have cool trends in your kingdom? <laughs> I suppose we do. Oh, we have a fun trend called Revere Your Rulers. It's where you show nothing but the utmost devotion for the royal family. If you're good at it, you get a lot of likes on social media and also not executed. Yeah, yeah, Miranda's dark, wow. by the way. Really dark. Miranda's a little bit. No, that's not the half of it. I'll tell you later. Do you ever listen to yourself when you speak? I bet you know some pretty cool trends, but don't you, Bomb? Heck yeah, you do. Don't you? Alright. Yep, it's called dying! <laughs> yep, it's called dying! Yeah, Alright. This was wait, obviously no, wait, for, Polly. for Polly. Yeah. yeah, that's definitely Polly, though. Yeah! Dying is my fucking fave! Same. I mean, listen to the first time I did it, it was like, hmm, now I don't get to be alive anymore! But then, when all the cool ghost stuff kicked in, I was like, OMG, dying is awesome! Same. Everyone At me. should die. At me. <laughs> <laughs> At me. I'm not sure I would be into this dying thing. Oh my god, this is. Yeah, oh. go away. I'm voice oh. acting. Oh. I'm busy. It's your, it's your child no. sibling. Get him out of here. No, I don't want to hear. But I do know that Daddy's reign helped many peasants achieve this meme, so it's nice to know that they are becoming super popular on social media in the process! <laughs> nice job, Polly. <laughs> Remind me not to ever hang out in random kingdom on break. <laughs> hey, but hey, Bob, maybe you and I could hang out and do some dying together! <laughs> yay! Maybe? That's yeah, yay. Alright, let's do it. Trade and place it again. Everybody choose an animal. Uh can be any. Alright, Fusa. The what? The matter Oh the okay. Fusa. Okay. Yeah. The <laughs> A predator um, a predatory mammal indigenous to Madagascar that preys on basically anything smaller than it. Yeah, from, that, that, we, that, you, that we see from, in the movie Madagascar. I call being a hyena, uh, no, like a hyena. A hyena, um, a, a fusa. A hyena came into my room before you came. Excuse the message. <laughs> okay, so fusa, hyena, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with the bearded dragon. Hey everyone, search up fusas. Cute. Okay. Okay, we need one more. Yeah, I'm going with the bird. What bird? <laughs> nice. 
What bird? Literally any. Uh, all right, bird. <laughs> Whatever. Mood. Player orders decide based on how likely it would be for the selected animal to take over humankind. Start debating oh, no. now. Oh, it's come birds. on. It's birds. <laughs> it's birds. <laughs> we all know it. It's birds. Birds. There's so many of them. Right. They can kill us all. I mean, you have seen have bird damage. Have you read that short story, or Birds? <laughs> seen the, have hey. you seen the movie called hey. Bird Damic? Hey. Yeah, yeah, like just birds. Birds. birds are learning how to talk. Think about that. Think they, about they it. They kill us. They, they will kill us. Yeah, but hyenas will, will laugh at you as you die. Exactly. Yeah, people are afraid of robots now. The true enemy are birds. But hyenas are scaredy cats. That's the thing. Yeah, that's true. So, I mean, hey. after them would be the So, I mean, like, maybe they're actually taking over for the lions. Yeah, no, hyenas are not going to take over. Yeah. But birds! Birds! No! Hyenas are most likely to laugh at you when you die. That's what I said. But they're not the most likely to kill you. Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah, true. Yeah, that is. I mean... Actually, no! Uh... Birds. Like, freaking... Freaking, um... Hyenas are fucking feminist. I think they're gonna like become like a feminist idol. <laughs> yeah, but they're not going to kill the entire human. <laughs> no, well, it's not, well, it's not so much kill them. They're gonna take over. Yeah, but like to take over, you kind of have to kill a couple people. Hey, and haven't true. you heard the vines of like millennials complaining about feminists? Have you not heard about that? Um, yeah. I By the way, see this how is all a joke. I really don't care about anything that's happening in the world right now, huh? except for Trump. I hate Trump. Oh. Awkward. Anyway, um, so... Yeah, no. Uh, but also, hyenas do most of their stuff at night, also. Yeah... So maybe um... they do a sneak yeah. attack. Yeah! So they can stab you in your sleep! They can't they can stab. Things. No, they can stab the president, and they can, like... Shit on the like, president seat and like, yeah, bitches, I'll murder the you in your seat. Against hyenas is that they can't fly. Birds, however, have wings so they can fly and talons. They we're, can not, grab we're, not fly. Gonna, we're not even gonna address bearded dragons or foos. They're not. They're just. They're just not able. To. They, they're not. They're not. There's not enough of them out. So, the, mm -hmm. Fusa is is mainly because they're on an island. Yeah, they're they're living on an island. They're nice and happy. They're fine where they are. Bearded okay, dragons. so let's just do birds. Okay, which one was birds? So, Ricky. Oh, that was me. Okay, Vicky goes first again. Uh, All right, hyenas. birds. All right, hyenas again. Uh, I said bearded dragons because bearded dragons are more. Oh, hyenas second. Uh, who was hyenas? Bomb. Me. Okay. And then probably bearded yeah, dragons. you like that crunch, don't you? Okay. And Fusa. Uh, 